We're reviewing today Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. It's been a while since we've last played that console version of Grand Theft Auto. Was the wait worth it? Well, I'll let you be the judge. You control three characters, Michael, Franklin, and the super loose cannon Trevor. Michael and Trevor are connected in a different way and Franklin is just the guy in the middle trying to bring everybody together. They work together to carry out missions. There's all types of plot lines going on. I'll tell you like this, the acting is so well done in these, from all these unknown people. It doesn't even matter, there's not celebrities in here at all. They do such a great job. And one of my buddies says, I would watch this movie. And that's how it is, all the cutscenes are entertaining. And the same thing can be said about the missions. And a lot of times, missions back in the past used to be you know, go kill this guy, go kill this guy. A lot of repetition. But there's so much going on in this game, so many different types of missions, it's hard for it to get old, man, because the map is so huge. So you'll be out in the country doing things you can only do out in the country, off-road racing. There's skydiving missions. And also, the fact that you're controlling three different characters which you can switch between usually whenever you want. And that also, because they're all three different people, all different walks of life. It's almost like you're playing three different games. The weapons are cool, you can modify them, the same can be said about the vehicles. Legit. If you want bulletproof tires, you can do that. You want to have a nice chrome paint job? Hey man, you can do it. What I like about this game is the ultimate freedom that you're allowed, and I think that's why it's so addictive. The fan favorite will most likely be Trevor. I mean, his missions are insane. Controversial, you know, definitely I could see why some people wouldn't enjoy him. But for me, I think he's just off the chains crazy. It's a video game. It's mature. It's definitely earned its rating. This is not for the kids. At all. Legit. It's never been, like, a major deal for me. But it's something that they took in mind this time. It's the graphics. The graphics look so good. There are certain moments where you're out in the country and stuff. And you just do a double take. Like, wow, they did a good job. When you're talking about the water. When you're swimming underwater. Driving boats. Even in the air. And you're looking down on the city. Legit. This rebooted San Andreas is just a better city overall to look at. Then Liberty City. Liberty City was kind of dull in places. This is just colorful, vibrant, and that's what I like about the game. If we're talking about spending $60 and riding out these consoles while you still can, if you're not ready for the PS4 and Xbox One, hey, jump on this. Enter some cheat codes. Legit. Have fun with it, man. That's one thing. GTA 4, I enjoyed it, but at the same time, I think they took things a little too serious, lost a little bit of the fun. This takes what worked in the original games, it takes the realism aspect of GTA 4, but blends it with the arcade feel of the original. So you get that realistic slash arcade vibe. Legit. They grabbed what worked in all the games and put together in this epic title. The fighting is really cool, they have reversals, you can fight back. Only thing I didn't like about that it's fun punching people and all of that stuff, but you figure since you have three different characters, why not have each one of those characters have a different fighting style? Everybody in the game fights the same way when you're going hand to hand, so that's something I didn't like. And they make it very difficult to get away from the police officers, they've gotten a lot more aggressive, so I guess if you want a challenge, that's cool. But at the same time, if you do a few petty crimes, it's, it's a wrap. You know, they are all over you. So. I will say it is incredibly satisfying getting away from the police. Overall GTA 5 is a complete package. You will find a few minor glitches but that's going to happen in an open world game. I think they beta tested the mess out of this, did the best they could, they pushed this to the brink you got to take into account when you look at these graphics you're also there's explosions tons of vehicles tons of pedestrians a huge world detailed lighting effects the music 
all that happening at one time. And so we got to acknowledge that fact. There's no game that is perfect because the world ain't. But I'm going to tell you, as far as going to the store and investing, make that investment. I'm going to give GTA 5 a 5. This is real life and real taking, 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 ta